This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out all their new games at luckyduckgames.com. Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're looking at board games launching on crowdfunding platforms the second half of April 2023. I'm going to throw in one that is in the first half of April because I missed it in my last video. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> And the one I missed from two weeks ago was the new addition to Santorini from Roxley Games. And this is bringing a new co-op expansion and a solo mode. On April 17th, Dronda Games launches Pioneer Rails. This game takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. It's a flip and write game where you'll use poker cards to extend your railway tracks and build a poker hand at the same time. You represent a railroad owner who has seen an opportunity to expand your empire across the new lands of the frontier. You'll be competing with the other railroad owners to plan your railway in the best way possible to connect establishments to the railroad and to satisfy the demands of the locals. Each turn, you'll choose one of the new revealed poker cards. The suit of the card helps you extend your railway, connecting you to the new towns and surrounding features. When you connect a town, you'll gain the ability to do a one-time bonus. And when you surround a feature with your tracks, you'll activate it for endgame scoring. The value of the card is added to your poker hand, which you'll score additional points for at the end of the round. These next few launch on April 18th. Board and Dice launches the Teotihuacan City of Gods Deluxe Master Set. This is for one to five players now. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to play. It now comes with all the expansions, promos, and more like a fifth player, the green player and it's all packed in one box with upgraded deluxe components. If you're a fan of Teotihuacan and don't have it all, here's your chance to get it. New Kingdom Gaming launches New Kingdom Gardeners. For two to four players, it takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. You gather the most fruit before the harvest in this whimsical, biblically inspired game. Grey Ridge Games launches Weirdwood Manor. It's a one to five co-op adventure game, battling evil monsters and minions with an ever-shifting magical manner. BA Games launches Forges of Ravenshire. This is for one to four players, takes about 50 to 100 minutes to play. Grab a hammer and some steel, it's time to forge. The Blacksmith's Guild of Ravenshire is in need of a new forge master. You and your fellow smiths are competing to see who can make the most money and become the new forge master. In the game, it's played over four seasons or rounds. Each season starts with the gathering phase where players will acquire contracts, recruit guild members, and gather resources. Players roll their dice workers and place one of them on an available location to gather resources, then retrieve a different dice worker to gather even more resources. However, the various workers are from different guilds and when retrieved will activate the guilds you have invested in. All players will take turns placing one of their workers and retrieving another worker three times. After the gathering phase is the production phase, take those three dice workers you have taken and now place them on different areas of your forge to gather more resources, make charcoal or steel, and forge contracts to make money. At the end of every season, check to see if any special titles have been earned. Titles bring prestige and hard earned money. And finally, roll your three dice workers again and prepare the town of Ravenshire for the next season. Capsicum Games launches Fighters of Europe. For one to four players, this is a fast paced and simple tactical war game of air battles during World War II Europe. These next few launch on April 25th. Dice Hate Me Games launches Milkman, a game for two to four players, takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. Set in 1950s America, you take on the role of a local dairy farmer doing your best to manage your farm, keeping the cows happy, process and deliver whole skim and chocolate milk to persuade customers that your milk is definitely the freshest. Each round, all players roll a certain number of custom dice with actions like milking gals, bottling up the milk, and delivering them to customers. There's a little bit of press your luck and you can re-roll the dice a couple of times, matching up sets to get the results you want. The active player gets a few more dice to work with, but those can't be re-rolled. Throughout the game, players will have to decide how best to manage their time, either expanding their farm for more flexibility and output, grabbing valuable customers before others can, or shipping out that delicious milk to the customers. The game ends after a certain number of rounds depending on player count. 
Most of the points are coming from delivering the milk to the customers. Burnt Island Games and Grand Gamers Guild launches Endeavor Deep Sea for one to five players takes over an hour to play. Lead your research institute to explore ocean depths and publish your findings. This edition is set in a new era of nautical discovery, but uses streamlined rules which will be familiar to fans of the original game, Endeavor Age of Sail. And sometime in and sometime in April, not exactly sure when, Red Joker Games launches Alter. It's a game for two to five players trying to discover the hidden altars in your realm.